During his 33-year working, he wrote constantly, including co-authored poems with colleagues and writing for the magazine London. But he had to leave work to write due to his busy work. So he always waited for retirement, thinking that he would like to have time to write as much as he wanted. And he was finally retired. The last day he went to work, he was delighted to think that he could only concentrate on writing from now on. His colleagues congratulated him a lot because they knew how he felt. You've only been writing at night, but from now you'll write during the day, so you're going to create a more brilliant work. Enjoy, he said to his colleagues. Yes, a work written in the sun will shine more than a work written in the starlight. Three years later, however, he sent a letter to an old colleague containing the following. I didn't know that abundant time would be so painful. Three years later, I realized that good thoughts come to my mind in the midst of a busy life. Please don't forget what I said and have a busy and satisfying every day. This story is about Charles Lamb, an English essayist and poet who is best known for his essays of Alea and for the children's book tales from Shakespeare co-authored with his sister, Mary Lamb. We often think that more time will do better, which is not true. Time input and performance are not proportional. We should not forget that more time without pressure and tension can reduce performance because concentration decreases 